Didn't give me a countdown or anything. <laughs> Hi everybody, um, I've got my little sneaky little glass of wine, um, but it is after six, come on, it's been a long day. Um, welcome, say uh, hello Alfie. Hi. And I'm Kay and I'm, uh, we're from Indigo Blue, so tonight we are going to do you some bell jars. So what are bell jars? Let me show you, come on in, let me have a slurp before I put this down. Mm. <laughs> very nice, Alfie. Thank you very much Jenny, for that. Jenny says cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so we have these gorgeous samples from our fabulous design team. Unfortunately, a lot of them don't have names on them, so I'm going to have to guess. I'm guessing that this is Carolyn's. Remind me if it's wrong. Shout out, DT girls. Um, so this is a gorgeous bell jar. This is actually stamped with our snow globe stamp uh, using shrink plastic and bent around the bell jar. Look at that work, it's just amazing. Maybe what I should do is just show you what comes in the kit and then I'll show you the samples. Okay, so this is the kit, DIY Christmas, but it's not just for Christmas because I love these bell jars just to display stuff in. So you get a nice big kit and inside Oh, let me just move that around. There we go. So we've got these lovely laser cut wooden uh, pieces. So you've got a little house to build, some trees, obviously snowflakes and a deer. Let me move this out of the way. There we go. And you have two bell jars. You have a large and a small. These are glitter glues. Here you have an LCD light led not lcd led light um, and two little um bottle brush trees and some snow fake snow there which is gorgeous um the noise in the background wouldn't you just know that the dogs want to come and join us oh. do you want me to hold that while you let them in mm -hmm. okay we can talk about that so, in the sorry about the wobble, just bear with us a minute while Alfie brings the dogs in because they're making noise. Um, so this is, I'm not very good at this am I? So this is this gorgeous one here by, we think it's by Carolyn, which is really lovely. Um, this is um, a large one, I think this is uh, Charmaine's and she's got the lights going through the house onto the tree, which is lovely. Um, I will be referring to this throughout our hour. So, as a little treat, we've got a 15% discount off your basket. It does exclude workshops and retreats, but Alf is giving you this uh, checkout code, which is F for Freddy, B for Bravo, 15. And it's on for 24 hours. Um, if you also like and share us, we are going to put you into a prize draw for that bell jar kit. Okay, please take over Alfie. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to whiz through some of these as well. This is absolutely if you, if you kind of gorgeous. It, it might be better. There we go. How's yeah, that? So I think this may be Lou Withers. Um, she's used her jewellery techniques to make a lovely little angel and she's uh, drilled a hole in the top and suspended it. I wouldn't recommend it because it's easy to crack these and use gilding flake around the outside. That is really, really pretty. So a really different way, and it's all decorated inside, a really different way of using your bell jars. This one is, oh, our Elizabeth. Gorgeous, so simple. I love this midnight blue colour. It's called Stroke of Midnight. And she's even done the little um, antlers on the deer, which I really love. And I like the um, sequins as well on the trees. I think that those are really, really pretty. And um, let's go for another big one. So this is one that I did on Hachanda. And I actually stamped this onto Duralar. It's like a thick acetate to wrap around the base there. Um, and we've got the little bottle brush and everything. I'm not going to show you this technique today. It's wobbling around, 
because I didn't stick it down. Did you mention the link in the, on the website to everything? That's on oh the yeah, show? yeah, that's right. So there's a link to everything on the website under Facebook Live. So mm. all the products that we're showing you now are under the Facebook Live um, department. So you're going to be able to see everything that we're using on there. So thanks very much, Alfie, for organising that. That's so much better. And you'll see that Jenny's put putting those links up for you. So thank you very much. Just like magic. And <laughs> just like magic. Jenny puts the link up. Yay! <laughs> She's brilliant, oh Jenny. <laughs> uh, I love the colourways of this. Really pretty. The the lovely soft frosty sky, uh, the post box red, and this gorgeous bronze metallic colour. And this is R K K Molyneux who's done this. Oh, let me put the lights on. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. So the lights are on there. Really pretty. This is gorgeous. Um, this is really pretty. Again, acetate round the outside. Who's done this one? We don't know, so we're just guessing. Hmm, who could it be? Let us know, girls, who's, who's done this one. So we've got gorgeous beads going on in here. Um, and what I really love is the fact that she's actually coloured the lights with an alcohol pen so they shine in different colours. I really hope you can see that. I think that's really clever. And she's used the rough texture paste, which is available on the, um, on the website. Uh, I don't think that's in that department, though, is it? Mm. No. Um, to cover the trees to give it that lovely texture and then painted it with um with our paints that's i think the that's inside of the bell jar. oh the inside of the bell jar yeah it's incredible isn't it it makes it look like really old-fashioned glass and i'm really not sure what she has put there so girls if you're out there and you know from the dt let me know it looks like um a crystal clear medium like a, a gel medium but it's quite runny so maybe it's done with the um the glass glue that we used for the baubles it might oh, be that nice. it might be that but i do love the fact that it makes it look like old glass that's really clever um this is Thank so you, sue pretty ralph. oh sue ralph thank you very much sue and let us know what's on the inside of that bell jar this is so pretty because this is really awkward to do hanging those um snowflakes from the top and she's covered it really well she's actually i hope you can see that a circle disc with notches cut in the fishing wire threaded through so they're hanging down i think that's really beautiful and i love the fact that the script is on the trees that is really gorgeous so I'm just going to mention all of the girls. So we've got Charmaine, Elizabeth, Jenny, Marples, Elizabeth. Um, oh, I've mentioned Elizabeth three times there. Um, Kay Molyneux, Charmaine Smith, um, Charmaine twice. Carolyn Lakin, <laughs> Nikki, Lou Withers. Um, and let me just grab this one. So this is another um, shrink plastic at the back here. This is mother and child stamp, which is normally about this big. It's bigger than this bell jar, actually. But I've stamped it with stays on and then shrunk it down and popped it in the smaller of the two bell jars and just stood it up there. Really, really simple. But this is really spectacular. This is beautiful. No name on the bottom. Um, so this is our unicorn. Again, stamped and used sh white shrink plastic to shrink it down. And I love all these pearl, half pearls on the trees and how she's built up the height of these trees. Really clever, really beautiful. Stamping again round the outside, which I'm going to show you. Loving that a lot. Then we have this by R.K. K. Molyneux. And again, lovely, simple, but elegant with the texture paste in the bottom there. So that's the rough texture paste. And then it's actually got a little bit of slap it on thick and the unicorn sparkles over the top to give it that sparkly look. This is spectacular as well. I'm adoring this. Look at that. So I'm, I'm assuming this might be Carolyn Lakin because she's actually used the same stamp on a previous one. Oh, it's Charmaine. Well done for putting your name on it, Charmaine. So 
great minds and all that. So she's actually um, used the snow globe um, in the background there, shrunk that down, and in the foreground are the villages that's on the snow globe stamp and shrunk that down and put it in with some slap it on and some unicorn sparkles. Again, hanging those um, snowflakes from the roof. I hope you can see that. There we go. And then round the outside, more slap it on with unicorn sparkles to give it a really nice texture. And then some more to finish off on the top. Really loving that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Right, quickly, a couple more and then we'll we'll get to work because you you're probably all with me now i'm really this is so cute i just really love this so this is um from our christmas stamp from last year it's got a flying santa over the it's top and it's santa. called um flying santa. flying santa there we go and this is actually all embossed onto um Duralar, i think it is and it's just so sweet and lovely and inside you have the tree with some snow on top with that rough texture paste and the trees I think that is really sweet and um, again not sure who that is let me know if um, if you know girls and finally another midnight blue one I love that midnight blue against the white beautiful right oh yes so I just wanted to show you this one so this is on the inside. I've taken the dome off and she's actually stenciled on the outside with some um, slap it on and got a really sort of frosted look. Um, I think Lou's done this one because it's got that sort of um, lovely silver earring on the top there. Jenny said Just to gone me, through. I don't know what that relates to. Uh, Jenny, Jenny, is that one yours? Is that one yours? give her a chance to answer <laughs> I think it might be I think it might be mm. it's gorgeous and um, these are real ferns that she's actually um, stuck on yes. and covered in um, a little bit of Jenny says yes. yes so this one is our Jenny's Jenny Marples which is absolutely delightful and then you've got this with all the nature stuff in so let me just push these to one side so you can see them up here. We might just give you a little view of those. Whoops, a daisy. No, Sorry no, about the. Um... Let it, let her in. Okay. Oh, yeah. So Alfie's yeah. just going to let the dogs in to stop them um, making a noise. I'm sorry. It's, it's on a gimbal, this, and it won't steady. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit wobbly. Just bear with me a minute. Okay. So I'm just going to put these. Do you feel seasick? <laughs> it's wobbling all over the place. Yeah, Jenny says all the girls had a ball creating this. I'm really, really pleased they did, actually, because I found them really great fun. And I think they've done the most amazing job. And every one is different. And, you know, this is just from one kit. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. So well done, girls. Well done. Okay, Alpha, you take over. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And for those people who have only just joined us, um, Alfie is giving us um, a 15% off everything in your basket, apart from workshops and retreats, um, and just put the code FB15 in there. Please, if you do uh, enjoy the Facebook Lives, please like and share us. And this week we're giving away a free bell jar kit. So the one I showed you at the beginning, which is this one you will be getting that okay when we uh, do the prize draw after the show okay so what um, I started off doing is actually just gessoing the wood because this is a solid wood so it does need a good level of gesso on it in order to um, stop the paint seeping through um, and then what you, you want to be doing is, um, I think I'm going to go for, there it is, the townhouse teal. So I'm using our acrylics for this. So give this um, a nice coat of our acrylics. So our acrylics will go onto lots of different surfaces. Um, they are quite pigment rich so you only need a tiny bit which will go far okay 
and they will go onto fabrics as well. So I think, um, oh that's Alfie's phone making that noise. So I think what I'll do is just clean off that top bit because I want to get the top right. That's my kitchen roll there and then I'll top that off. There we go. Super simple. Da, da, da. And then. Sue's asking any more shows on Hachanda. Oh, yes. So I'm on this weekend. I'm on Sunday morning, um, 7 a.m. Um, yes, yeah, 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 2 p.m. Jenny, help me out. <laughs> I'll have a look in my diary. Um, and just make sure I check the uh, the times for you. But definitely on at 7 a.m. Um, and 10 a.m. Um, the Dutch one for all of our Dutch friends out there. I'm on at 9 a.m. on your Hachanda Netherlands channel. Um, and then after that, we've got Jenny on. She's on um, on the 15th, Sunday the 15th, isn't she? Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, but they are actually all now listed on our Facebook page. So I think Elizabeth's done that. Okay. So just shout up Elizabeth if you um if you've done that. So dogs in the background. Is it me? Sorry. It's me. <laughs> okay, so while I dry that off, excuse me, um I think I'm going to use our snowflake lace and use that to to decorate or maybe i might just use our scandy pattern ah yes let's use the scandy pattern so on here i've got a little bit of gesso and i could clean it up but i quite like the fact that if i just ease that around i'll get some dusty white marks on there with the paint and it'll give it a sort of uh, more of a scandy chic pattern on that so bad camera work yeah very bad camera Painting work <laughs> just dogs and camera doesn't work <laughs> You see, the thing is, we try locking them out and then all they do is just sort of whimper at the door, don't they? Or they run up and down outside in the garden, making a, a right racket. So we just have to let them in. They just, you know, want attention, don't they? Want to see what's going on. OK, sorry about that. Sorry for taking so long. It's still damp. OK, so I'm going to leave that to one side for a second while I do the next bit. With this one, I've actually gone ahead and painted it first. I just find it a bit easier than painting it when you've glued it together. And it was just so much easier. So um, these bits here are the ends. These are the sides. And I'm using Townhouse Teal again on here. And then I'm using these with the stars in are the roof. So I'm just going to use a little bit of gesso there. And I've just got some townhouse teal on, so I'm just going to go over the top of that. Okay. Actually, the kit's reduced as well, isn't it? So it's reduced and discounted. Oh, there you go. Say that again a bit louder, well, Alfie. You say it. <laughs> okay, so the kits are, what, normally twenty three ninety nine, mm -hmm. Alfie? So the kits are normally twenty three ninety nine. Alfie's done you a special deal by doing them at nineteen ninety nine. So thanks very much for that. But then, because he's put that extra 15% discount on, you're still going to get... The discount on top of the discount. Mm -hmm. That's good. So another, but, uh, but we didn't think that one through, did we? Another three quid off. Another three quid off. So 
$16.99 instead of $23.99. Mm. Ooh. I'll be changing that once I get off this camera. <laughs> No, you can't do that. That's not allowed. If you've made a mistake, you've made a mistake. Listen, guys, just go and buy them before he changes his mind. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to do that. Tough. Anyway, this is all, all our Indigo Blue friends and family, isn't it, anyway? Mm -hmm. So you guys are our fans, so why can't you get a double discount, hey? Mm -hmm. Um you're the ones who put us here. So, yeah, thanks very much. Mm. Okay, so that's those, my little lovelies. Um, I love this little deer here. If it doesn't work, Jill, I'll, don't worry. Let me know and I'll um, I'll sort it out after the show. Yeah, Alfie can always go in and do it manually. So the cool thing about these is these slot together really easily. But just to be on the safe side, I put a little bit of, of glue on the end. So I'm just using... Um, this is just Tonics craft glue, so any craft glue or PVA that you've got should work nicely. And I just put a tiny little bit in there just to make sure it's secure because I'm, I'm going to be bringing these out every Christmas, you see, so I want them to last. And then I don't paint the edges, as you can see, I do that later. So I start off with the front piece, like so. And then this is the side piece. And you can see they all match up. You can't put the wrong one in because they all match up in size. There we go. And again, it's a nice snug fit, so you're not going to get it wrong. So just press that in. That's good. Put the sides on and then that's going to go there so I'll have a little spot of glue here and here there are instructions in the kit but they they're not written instructions they're just pictures on the outside of the box um, which is better for me there we go so that's looking good and then this is the roof so the roof goes on like this let me just go with that excess paint there da, da, da lovely so this one goes on here so I can put a little bit of glue there and there good thing about the PV is you can just wipe away the excess so like so and then oh, let me put a little bit in there so that clips onto that and it just sort of snaps into place, you can hear it, and just smooth the glue off, the excess glue. That's great. So there you go. Oops, I would just push that into place. So just give that five, ten minutes, and then I go around and just touch up these bits, which I've already done here. Okay, so I've just touched up the edges. And then what I've done is I've just got a little tiny bit of gesso, Karen's asking okay. what the item was they had to buy quickly as the computer froze. Oh, it is. Let me get up. It is this, the the, um, the bell jar kit, the two the set of two bell jars. So this is normally twenty three ninety nine, and Alfie's put it down as nineteen ninety nine, and then he's put another fifteen percent discount on it. So instead of getting twenty three ninety nine, you get it for sixteen ninety nine. So you get all of that in there. So, and there's two bell jars and enough stuff to make all of that. Now, one of the cool things that we um, we had on the show when we did this on Hachanda was that um, Kay and Sue made little villages which left the bell jars free. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with the bell jars later on, on their own. So that's just given me a little bit of... Um, uh, a shabby chic look to it okay. and I'm just going to blast that off I've got a little drip there, don't want that on there and then I'm going to stamp on this I'll show you an easy way to actually stamp it without 
you know, ruining what you've already done. Let me put that in the water. Let's get rid of that. Okay, let me get some clean paper under that. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this stamp here, which is Snowflake Lace. Which is not one of those we've got on there. Oh, did you not put that on no, the Facebook page? I do apologise, I do apologise. <laughs> we didn't put the Snowflake Lace on the Facebook Live selection, but you can find it in the A6 stamps and it's called Snowflake Lace. That's my fault entirely. Yes, Alfie says, nodding his head sagely. <laughs> I take full responsibility. Okay, so this is stays on. I'm going to use black just so that you can see it really nice and clearly on, uh, on DV. And the easiest way to do this, this is a flat surface, which is great. Okay, so you're just going to offer up the stamp to, offer up the house to the stamp and press on and you get a really lovely impression which is pretty okay just choose a different area offer the stamp up uh, offer the house up and stamp there we go nice um, let me just make sure that's inked up there we go and I think we'll have that one coming this way Oh, look, that is pure chance. <laughs> I wish I could say that I planned that, but it's not. See the little window? It's got a perfect circle around it. Couldn't have planned that, could you? Okay, and then the final one I think we'll have here. There we go. Let me ink that up again. And then I'll show you how to do the little sides. So these sides, let me just blast that so I don't smudge it. I know it stays on and it's fast drying but listen, if it's me I'm going to smudge it. Okay, so these little lips here that hang over, that could be awkward stamping. So the way to do it is to offer it up so the house is just on the edge there. Let me turn that round then you can see. Can you see? So it goes on the edge there. And then you just whoops press that in. Maybe not as hard as that. Oh, I didn't ink that up properly. <laughs> it, was going so well. it was going so well. It's like, hmm, some ink would help, okay? So in with that. There you go. Okay. And then again, let's just ink up that area there, make it a little bit different. Put the roof on and press onto that one. There we go. Okay. So we've got a cute little house all stamped up. I really like that technique. That's so cool. Okay, so let me put that one to one side. Now I'm going to use this Scandi pattern yeah. and hopefully this should all be nice and dry, which it is. Okay, so the Scandi pattern is on the Facebook Live mm -hmm. department store, department. Excellent. I do love this. I've been using this an awful lot. I just love all the... You can use these as borders or you can use them as a whole. Fantastic, these. Okay, so again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it at an angle, actually, so that hopefully you can see it. I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to stamp on the round edge. So what area am I going to do? Um... I think I might just, what should I do, Alfie, the trees or yeah, those? Yeah, the trees. The trees. Okay. Right, so I want the trees the right way up, so get this the right way up. So I'm just going to go off this line at the bottom there. 
and I'm just going to roll nice and slowly the edge of the trees there okay and then you ink up again the trees and this part here you need to just line up so it's going about there and we were right to the edge weren't we with those dots so just roll I went a little bit off there but that's that's not bad at all just a bit of a black pen to line up those dots little cheat there oh, I think we need a a better pen than that. Oh, that's too bad. I'll, find, I'll find a. I'll find a. Yeah, I need my food bowl. I'll find my food bowl in a minute. And then the last little bit. Okay, so off it up again, like we did. Onto those areas there. Roll slowly. Now, excuse me, I'm just going to put my head in the way because I need to know where it finishes. Oh, excellent. So there we have it. So, so I'll just touch that up with a little bit of black pen. If I can there does it. appear to be a problem with the discount code. If anybody does want to order and the discount code isn't working, just, um, just email me and I will sort it out and contact you and get all the details of the, what you want. What, you um, what are you going to do? Are you, are you just going to let the sale go through and then refund them the difference? Or are you... Because it's, yeah, it's a bit yeah. awkward, oh, isn't okay. it? Just, we could do that. Um, so the discount code is FB15. I did test it this afternoon, so it was working for me this afternoon. But if anybody's having trouble, just um, put the order through and put a little note on the order um, that the discount code didn't work and I'll sort all that out tomorrow or later this evening Sorry about that guys but you don't worry you will get your full discount I'll make sure mm -hmm. mm. Nice wine Alfie mm. Bit of a small glass though Did you notice? Not much in it You're working True, I am working, yes good point okay so I've just sewed this piece as well that goes on here um, and then I'm going to just put this together so um, some of the girls have done a really nice feature of putting little ears on on our little deer here deer here what should we do should we do copper so let's have a tiny this is Money Penny, Miss Money Penny, and it's a lovely sort of coppery colour, which is beautiful. So we're just gonna. I know I forgot to um, gesso it, but hey, you'll forgive me. Surely, it might fade a little bit. It's by, I mean by sinking into the wood, but hopefully, with it being so tiny. Don't see it. Okay, let me just get a clean brush. No, that's the hall says hi from Woodbridge. Hi, Miss Woodbridge. <laughs> How are you, Dee? Nice to see you. Now, Jill's got the coat to work. Oh, good. Excellent. I hope you've got a glass of wine as well out there. So I think that's really cute. Thanks very much for uh, for the DT doing that. Quite, quite a few of you did that with the little white antlers. I think that's really sweet, actually. Um, the base I am going to cover with white. Um, I know it's a bit fiddly and maybe I should have done this off air. But hey... 
can't be perfect. Um, and I think he's going to end up with white socks, which would be really cute. Okay, right, that'll do for now, and I'll just move on because there's quite a few things I wanted to show you as well. So let me just say that all I did was. Um, so let me just. Um, so if anybody's had, had any problems with their orders, just email me at orders at um, indigoblue.com and I'll, uh, I'll sort it all out tomorrow. So these are your LED lights and um, in fact let me show you on this one because this one's a new one and I, I just want to show you oh. when you take it out of the packet you can see one of these little tabs that releases um, the battery because obviously it won't turn on with that in so you pull that out she says and it and it turns on let me just put it all back together a little bit too forceful there Kay I mean come on yeah, <laughs> too much wine. <laughs> Been before. What's a good thing to do is actually open the back and put that tab on top because that's been in a long time and it, it can you see how it, it loosens the connection there? So I found that if you put the tab back in but on top so it still works, it just gives you a better, firmer connection. Or if you've done what I did and threw it away, just put a slip of paper in and that way the connection is always good. So let me turn that off, and then you've got quite a, a good length. How many? 15 centimetres? Mm -hmm. Something like that. To wrap around trees and all sorts. So that one goes through there, like so. And I haven't painted the inside of this because it's a nice tight fit. So just two thumbs, push it through. Thread that on and then stick that down with some of your PVA PVA wood glue, anything like that that goes on like so I would hold it in place for a few seconds and then this you can actually put into your house or if you wanted you can just take it out of the house and thread it around your trees as well now these have got really, really tiny little lights on and you can actually use a alcohol marker to colour those just like um, one of our DT did, which was very, very clever. And then again, when you've got it in place, just a little bit of glue. Sorry Alfie, what so were you going to say? Kathy's just joining. What did you just put the light into? So it's probably the hand. Yeah. Into, the, into the base, into the base of the and unit. Then through the house. Yeah. The little house. To make it lovely when the glue won't come out. And then that one can go like so. This one can go out the front. Sorry. Like so. And then our little tray which needs a little bit of white on there and this hardly needs any glue actually because um, it just goes into its into a hole it just screws in Okay, and that can go there. Hands everywhere. <laughs> Hands everywhere, yeah, sorry. Right, let that set a second. Oops, what am I doing there? And then this is slap it on thick, okay, so you can see it holds its shape. And this is uh, this dries clear, and then what I do is I just build up the layer, cover all those bases where the tree is, like so. Stick house. There 
and you can actually make it like meringue just give it a few peaks and troughs to make it a little bit more snow-like there we go build it up around there and then I'm going to put some on here just to cover up some of those wires Stick your little monkey. And then I don't quite like this um, at the top of the house. So I'm just going to put some on the roof of the house a little bit. There we go. Liking that. Okay, fresh clean piece of white paper. Unicorn sparkles. And this just goes over everything because it'll just stick to the areas which are out of stock at the moment. We're waiting for new stock to come in. Oh, hey, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. it, it is really popular at this time of year, isn't it? Because we sold so much last time. And then what I do is I've actually left mine to dry like that and then tapped off the excess because I didn't want everything to fall off. But yeah, and then... That's going to go over the top. Mm, but I don't want to touch the sides until that's dry. There you go. Okay. Pretty. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah, let's turn the lights on. That helps. That's so pretty. Like that. Right, so, really quickly, before you all go, I just wanted to show you that if you were doing a little village and you ended up with a bell jar, that was um, spare, what you can do is instead of um, doing a Christmas one, you can gesso it all like so. I'm only going to do a portion of it. Like that. Get yourself some matte slap it on and some nice bits of papers. So this could be maps, book pages, music pages, whatever. That's rather a lot, okay? I don't think you need all of that. So this is our mat slap it on, which is um, fantastic for our tissue technique. We're going to be using this on Sunday. Oh my God, we've got the most fantastic kit for you. Decoupage, collage and mixed media. Okay, so all you need to do is just put... Let's just dry that off a little bit. Is just put a good dollop of that on there. And I mean, you know, slap it on. That's why it's called slap it on. Take some of your papers and go over the top until you cover the whole area. And then you can fold those bits over the edges there, like that, until it's all covered. And I did some um, textures, text pages, and this is what I did. So you can just put it round the outside. It's a bit creepy, though. It's creepy! <laughs> I love these little miniature dolls. This is this is a very special one. <laughs> Alfie says it's creepy. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> I'll put text on there, and then I've gone over just with some uh, distress walnut, just to distress it a bit. And then you can put your little pieces. It could be it could be anything. It could be you know fancy bottles. It could be little bits of treasure. It's going to be knocking on the inside. You know Stop that, it. it. She's so sweet. Mm. Reminds me of a horror movie. Oh, well, I don't watch horror movies. They give me nightmares, so there you go. So you can make make them um, look like little Victorian objet d'art. You're not convinced, Alfie, are you? Not Alfie's not one. convinced. No, I mean, I get the idea. But <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, that's an idea. Now, okay, so... Um, 
just to finish, so just to recap, I hope you've liked and shared. Oh, Don't follow the Treading dog. Treading on the dog. <laughs> um, I hope you've liked and shared, and then we're going to be giving away that mm. kit. And um, also remember your um, discount, which is great. And tune in on Sunday morning um, because we've got three shows. The first two shows are with one lot of stuff, and the third show is with another lot of stuff. And it's a fantastic kit really really enjoyable you'll love it and um, we will have rice paper in stock just letting you know advance there um, so catch me on Hachanda you can watch online at hachanda.com or on the TV mm -hmm. and, um, what to say? Alfie's pointing at this okay so yeah you've got your 15% dis uh, discount off everything in your basket excluding workshops and retreats just put FB15 um, in the little box in the checkout area. Any problems, just email us. Okay, hope you've enjoyed tonight. Um, yeah, it's been good fun. <laughs> so thank you, Alfie, and goodbye. Thank you, and goodbye. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs> and hopefully, we'll see you. We're not doing it next week, are we, Alfie? We're doing it every two weeks. Okay, so I'll see you in a fortnight. So um, see you then. Bye.